Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Odin's Movie Blog. I am the critic who is a cynic. Hope you're doing well. And today, we're going to talk about The Lion King, having the reviews come out, and they are pretty damn bad, at least from the critics. Now, some people are running with this a little bit and trying to say that this means it's going to flop. I am not the one that's going to hold to that. I honestly think that The Lion King has potential to make easily a billion dollars and to make even more than that just because of the international cast that they have, like the internationally renowned cast that they have, just the name of Beyonce alone, even though I don't like her. There still can't deny that there are millions upon millions of people that know her name and recognize her and will go see it to see her or to at least listen to her as the voice of uh, the adult Nala. That all being said, I honestly think that this film overall is kind of starting to wear, and I think that you really saw it start with Aladdin, because Aladdin did not have very good scores either from critics. This film is continuing that trend. If any of the films were going to get a positive, like as far as the live-action remakes, if any of them were going to get a positive spin from the critics, it would have been this film because of the casting, not you know not just, not just because of the casting, but also because of the fact that this is a film that was made by Jon Favreau, and Jon Favreau has a very good eye. And apparently, what he's able to do by making these lions look so realistic, even though almost the entire movie is CGI, that's why anyone that tries to say, oh, it's a live-action remake, no, it's not. This is not a live-action remake. This is entirely CGI. It's all done in a computer. And again, I'll give kudos to the uh, production team. I'll give kudos to the artists that were able to render these things. At the same time, too, I'm going to go out to them because... You know, rather go after the directors and the writers and the producers that asked for this because it's just going to show you that very clearly no one really wanted this film in the first place. And at the end of the day, we don't need another remake. We, we, we're done with them. Like, seriously, we are so over it. And I think slowly but surely the critics are starting and hopefully the audiences follow suit where we're starting to get very tired of Disney just constantly trying to make money grab after money grab after money grab of just these soulless reboots that have nothing new, that add nothing new, and also have no reason for existing in the first place. So as you can see here from Rotten Tomatoes, this is, of course, from BoundingOfTheComics.com. I'll let them go to Rotten Tomatoes for me because I don't really want to support that website anymore. But as you can see that right now, 59% for The Lion King from critics out of an average of 111 reviews. I'm sure that it's much higher now at this point. And then the Metacritic, you have a 57, which is amazing to me because it really does help to show the number a little bit better. Remember that Rotten Tomatoes is a flawed system because the critics can easily just put, you know, fresh, rotten, and even if their rating might be fresh on certain movies and rotten on others, they get to determine whether or not their, their ranking is fresh or not. There's not a standard set in place, and I think that's a big problem. The reason why I like Metacritic more is because it puts everyone on the same scale, it puts everyone on the same way, and also they show you and explain their methodology as to how they are able to adapt maybe uh, grade levels. For example, if someone gives a movie an A or a B minus, how they're able to transfer that into a score out of 100 and give you a more accurate reading about what someone actually thought about an overall film. But as you can see from these 15 out of the reviews, out of the 35 critics, over about half of them just about half of them were mixed, mixed reviews. So that's not positive, that's not necessarily positive, not necessarily negative. And that is what most people are probably going to come out of this movie thinking, is that this movie is okay, it has beautiful effects, but it's not really doing anything additional. It's just, you know, a shot-for-shot shot remake is what one of the many uh, great YouTubers that I follow, uh, Chris Dugman, said that. It's like basically a shot-for-shot shot remake of the original animated, and it makes you ask the question, okay, so why does this movie exist? Is it just to show you how amazing the effects have come? Well, you could have easily made a short film and shown that. You didn't have to spend and waste millions upon millions of dollars telling a story that's already been told and also from what everyone's been saying told much better in a lot of different ways four of these reviews have been negative and 16 have been positive now of course i can imagine that there'll probably be a bunch of disney shows in that mix i mean john campia said he cried for this film which when you especially start to see the critics reaction to this makes it look even worse not just from a show perspective but also from the fact that even the critics even his fellow critics that would be the same people that would jump aboard this and jump aboard the disney train are not doing so in suit it just makes him look that much worse but the lion king does not look like it's doing very well and i'm really hoping because anyone that's trying to say and i'm, I'm go ahead and pull up my evidence for you because there are some people out there that are trying to say that this is going to end up being a box office bomb the reason why i'm very much opposed to that being the case is because of one film and that is called aladdin so aladdin was an actual live action remake yes a lot of the elements were cgi but there were also a lot of live actors in there as well and also some location shooting on top of that this film has made 926 million dollars i don't think anyone in their right mind would have thought that aladdin would get close to the billion dollar mark. I don't think anyone would have said that. I remember I said, I'm really hoping this film fails because I'm so sick and tired of these remakes and Disney is so out of ideas. It's time for us to start to show them we're not going to support it. So again, I'm going to try and you know reach out to you people if you want Disney to start making original stories again, if you want Disney to stop with these stupid live action remakes that no one's asking for, the only way that's going to happen is if you 
not only don't go see a movie, but also you tell your friends, you tell your family members, you try and say that, no, we're putting the foot down. It's time for us to stop giving them this money because it's only then that Disney will start to listen. Until they start to lose money on every single one of these projects, they will never stop, ever. And so they'll continue not only to remake these movies, but also do them poorly, and also probably bring some changes to some of the movies that are just going to piss off more people than actually entertain. But this film right here, making $926 million, is, to me, the easy sign that anyone that says, oh my gosh, it's going to flop, therefore, let's go ahead and look to this. Remember that Aladdin also had it in the 50s and 60s for its Rotten Tomatoes score. And also with its Metacritic score as well. In fact, I'll pull up the Metacritic score since I don't really have much of a problem with Metacritic because overall I think their ideology and their methodology is pretty uh, standard or rather is uh, it's pretty straightforward and they don't really hide behind anything kind of like what Rotten Tomatoes does. But also they don't um, – they don't get rid of anything. But anyway, that's the Aladdin 1992 film, made 82%, which actually is kind of low from what I would imagine. Uh, but let's see right here. Let's see. Do, 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 do. Oh, man. It's not even showing up in the first searches? What? Really? It's not even showing up in the top searches. There it is. So as you can see right here, 53. So almost the exact same score. So let's see. The Lion King, 59%, 57%. This had a lower score. Aladdin had a lower score from critics. Let's go ahead and look at these. 20 positive reviews, 28 mixed reviews, and two, only two negative reviews from the critics whose reviews were actually posted to this website. That's actually really, I mean, again, compare that to what Lion King has. Lion King has four negative reviews, but yet it still has a higher score because I guess those positive reviews are just that much higher. But as you can see, this film got a 53 there and got a 6.6 .6 from user ratings. Now, it's actually much higher. Aladdin got closer in the 90s percentage range from those people going to Rotten Tomatoes, which actually just, to me, makes a lot of sense. That's why I personally like uh, Metacritic a little bit more because I think it stays just a little bit more honest because they don't vet reviews, they don't delete reviews, which means that if there's going to be any bots or there's going to be any of the fake reviews, you're going to have fake reviews from both sides of it. That's why you have 89 negative, 83 mixed, and then 284 positive. Because for the most part, most people who just don't care about this stuff said, oh, yeah, it was entertaining. It was fine. You know, people who aren't real movie critics, they're like, oh, yeah, I was, you know, I had fun with it. You know, all my kids had fun with it. And so they'll go ahead and give it a positive score for that reason. But these are the same people that also just spent, you know, $20, 30 $40 on that movie, which is just feeding into it. So anyone that's going to tell you that this film's not going to make money, The Lion King's not going to make money, I'm going to tell you right now, they're wrong. This film's going to make money. It's going to be profitable. The question is, how much money is it going to make? Is it going to make more than Aladdin or less than that? I think that most people would say that this film has everything that it needs to make more than Aladdin at this point. But also, Aladdin making close to $900 million, and this being the second live-action film to come out in the summer, to me, hopefully, hopefully, and this is all a hope, this is not a prediction, a hope is that people will not stop, you know, people will stop seeing these movies. People will not support them. But of course, I don't think it's going to happen quite yet. I think it's going to be another year or so before we start to see any major impact at the box office. But I'm going to plead with you guys again. Stop supporting Disney. Stop supporting Disney's live action films, especially if you actually want change to happen. Because if you just say, oh man, they're just, they're gonna, they should change, but I'm going to still go see their movies and buy their Blu-rays and buy their 4Ks and all this other stuff. Guess what? Nothing is going to change. It's time for us to start to be the change itself. All right, guys. But anyway, we all thoughts about this. Do you want to see The Lion King? Do you have any interest in these live action reboots anymore? Seriously, like, obviously there are still some people out there that want to see them. The fact that Aladdin made this much money tells me that much. It was made for a production budget of around $183 million, so that is nothing to snuff at. Let's go ahead and see if they have the uh, the, the, the listing here. So there is no production budget listed here, but it obviously does come out, uh, you know, coming out next weekend. But it still is not a very good indication for the film to be panned this early on. But let me try and see if I can find that for you guys. I like to do things live because I want to show you guys that I'm not hiding anything. So Lion King 2019, let's see, production budgets. Production budget. So this film was made for $250 million, which is about what I thought. I knew it was going to be a crap ton because of all the CGI in it. So $250 million, meaning that this film probably costs anywhere between $350 and $400 million to actually make the film. So it's going to have a lot more to make, has to make a lot more money than Aladdin had to make in order to make that money back. But still, it is going to probably make that money back easily, possibly even in its opening weekend. But all I can say is, don't support this film. Don't support Disney because it's time to boycott, guys. <laughs> Just saying it right now. Thanks, guys, for watching. Have a wonderful day. And as always, God bless.